we are out here obviously celebrating Dan, aka Dan's documentary, uh, and the performances, this crazy after party, and you actually uh, kind of started the night off, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was good, it was a good time, yeah. So tell people if they don't know your style, kind of what kind of music you put out. So uh, my name is Travis Graham, I'm part of a band called New Heights, and we're kind of like an alternative rock pop group out of Seattle. Um, I just moved down to LA, so we're kind of doing the whole West Coast thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like that, and um, I guess if you like One Republic, because One Republic's like our favorite band, yeah. then you sh might like our stuff. <laughs> you might like the Asian from Seattle version of it. <laughs> there you go, exactly, exactly. So you're obviously uh, going for the Seahawks um, at Super Bowl. <sighs> man, I'm just trying to finish up the night so I can think clearly, give them good energy. Man, my hashtags all day are C is Seattle and LA, Seattle and LA. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Seahawks, they might take it. They might take it. They, you know, I really think they are, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of my boys, I'm proud of my city, after everything that's happened this year, yeah, um, yeah I'm just proud of it all, so, win or lose, Seattle won, I think. You know, how did you, how'd you become part of this whole night? How do you know Dan? How did you become, you so, know, performing? Yeah, so me and Dan go way back, we've been good friends for a long time, but I actually um, mixed and uh, co-produced uh, and engineered his album. So, a lot of the songs he did tonight are... Um, uh, a, a few of my productions and uh, co-writes with Dan and everything. So the whole, so I'm like, because the album hasn't released yet, I'm like the only guy, like I'm like sitting side stage, mouthing every word because I've listened to every single song like 40 <laughs> times. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Like I love this song. And everybody's like, okay, stalker, how do you know? I know, and everyone's like, how the heck does he know everything? I'm like, I'm a super fan, man. Okay. <laughs> what about the film? How'd you feel about it? I mean, what did you? You've known him for a while, so what did you learn from it? How'd you feel about it? How'd you deal with it? Yeah, it was nice to see Dan. Uh, kind because whenever I see Dan, he's always straight to the point, very focused individual, you know. And it was cool to see this side of him, you know. He doesn't show his emotions very often, um, other than even on stage. And so um, it was good to see him open up like that and see another dimension of him. Um, and it was just an inspiring film. Me and my girl were just like crying the whole time. <laughs> I was like, man, screw you, Dan. You just. You ruined it. Who's cutting onions around here? What's <laughs> no, going on? Seriously, man, come on. No, it was great. And I'm so, so happy for him. And like, I told him um, before he went on just now that it's amazing. Like, being a part of the album and everything and seeing everything kind of come together, it was, I think everyone kind of felt this way that it was, there's so many components to the night that it, you couldn't really, um, you couldn't really like fathom everything that was happening until you came to tonight and then you see everyone that was involved you see the yeah. community come together you see like just everything and it was just i mean it's awesome to be a part of like such an important project so yeah and i mean people came out it was packed you had a lot of energy to perform to so it was probably great as an artist to have a full crowd and yeah. so much energy yeah man and i love it because a lot of these people are just they've, they're all friends over you know over time and so it was, it was just just good to be able to play in front of a bunch of a bunch of friends and family and then uh, also kind of celebrate the film. So. We've been asking all night, so he has this twin, what would be like the first thing you'd want to do with your twin? Or you found out like you had a twin and like, the, you're Filipino, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, let's say you had a twin brother in the Philippines, like what would be the first thing you'd want to do with him if you went out to the Philippines or he um, came out here? Man, uh, with him, I don't know, eat? I mean, Asians love to eat, yeah. so I would just want to eat and like figure out his taste, because I love to cook. And so maybe see him cook if he cooks. I don't know. Something to do with food. Do you are you like? Do you got the Filipino food down? Do you eat Filipino food? Yeah. What's, what What would you want to cook with your twin brother? Man, I would wanna I would wanna cook sinigang with him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause I've been ever since I moved down here, I've been like really. I'm like texting my mom all day. I'm like, mom, how did you make this? How do you make that? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to learn it. So yeah, I would want to try and see how sinigang compared with mine. Yeah. What and if he makes it better than you, though? Oh, if he does, and I'm just eating all of it. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's win-win. <laughs> you know? Lastly, you know, looking at the camera, what do you want to say directly to Dan, uh, just in general? Dan, you are an inspiration to not only me and your direct friends, but to the Asian community. And so thank you so much for letting me be a part of your journey. And I, I can't wait to see what this, uh, this landmark, you know, transcends into for you and your career. So. Thanks, man, for having me be a part, and I can't wait to kick it more with you. Congratulations. And to take us out, where can people go to find out more about your band? Um, if you want to check out my band, New Heights, uh, you can go to youtube.com slash newheightsmusic, um, and you can kind of find out all of our information there. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, man. You killed it on stage, yeah. opening this whole, whole event off. And uh, yeah, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Appreciate it.